A mom takes her daughter to the doctor. The doctor says, Okay, what seems to be the problem? The mother says, It's my daughter Susie. She keeps getting these cravings, she's putting on weight and is sick most mornings. The doctor gives Susie a good examination, and then turns to the mother and says, Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but Susie is pregnant. About four months would be my guess. The mother says, Pregnant? She can't be, she has never ever been left alone with a man. Have you Susie? Susie says, No mom, I've never even kissed a man. The doctor walks over to the window and just stares out of it. A few moments later, the mother says, Is there something wrong out there, doctor? The doctor replies, No, not really. It's just that the last time something like this happened, a star appeared in the east and three wise men came over the hill. I'll be damned if I'm going to miss it this time. <laughs> my daughter just walked into the living room and said, Dad, cancel my allowance immediately. Rent my room out, throw all my clothes out of the window, take my TV, stereo, an iPhone, an iPod, and my laptop. Please take all of my jewelry to the Salvation Army or cash converters. Then sell my new car, take my front door key away from me, and throw me out of the house. Then disown me and never talk to me again. And don't forget to write me out of your will and leave my share to my brother. Well, she didn't put it quite like that. She actually said, Dad, this is my new boyfriend. He supports Manchester United. <laughs> A DA officer stopped at our farm yesterday. He said, I need to inspect your farm for illegal growing drugs. I said, Okay, but don't go in that field over there. The DA officer verbally exploded saying, Mister, I have the authority of the federal government with me. Reaching into his rear pants pocket, the arrogant officer removed his badge and shoved it in my face. See this badge? This badge means I am allowed to go wherever I wish. On any land. No questions asked or answers given. Have I made myself clear? Do you understand? I nodded politely, apologized and went about my chores. A short time later, I heard loud screams, looked up, and saw the DA officer running for his life being chased by my big old mean bull. With every step, the bull was gaining ground on the officer, and it seemed likely that he'd sure enough get gored before he reached safety. The officer was clearly terrified. I threw down my tools, ran to the fence, and yelled at the top of my lungs, Your badge, show him your badge. <laughs> Aunt Bessie loved to visit her nieces and nephews. However, she had relatives all over the country. The problem was that no matter how much she enjoyed seeing them, she hated flying. No matter how safe people told her it was, she was always worried that someone would have a bomb on the plane. She read books about how safe it was and listened to the stewardess demonstrate all the safety features. But she still worried herself silly every time a visit was coming up. Finally, the family decided that maybe if she saw the statistics she'd be convinced. So they sent her to a friend of the family who was an actuary. Tell me, she said suspiciously, what are the chances that someone will have a bomb on a plane? The actuary looked through his tables and said, a very small chance, maybe one in 500,000. She nodded then thought for a moment. So what are the odds of two people having a bomb on the same plane? Again he went through his tables. Extremely remote, he said. About one in a billion. Aunt Bessie nodded and left his office. And from that day on, every time she flew, she took a bomb with her. <laughs> a couple's happy married life almost went on the rocks because of the presence in the household of Old and Emma. For 17 long years, she lived with them, always crotchety, always demanding. Finally, the old girl passed away. On the way back from the cemetery, the husband confessed to his wife. Darling, if I didn't love you so much, I don't think I would have put up with having your Aunt Emma in the house all those years. His wife looked at him aghast. My Aunt Emma? She cried. I thought she was your Aunt Emma. <laughs> George was taking care of a parrot for his aunt. This parrot was a very nasty parrot. 
It cussed and screamed and made fun of George, so he took the parrot and put it in the freezer. The parrot kept screaming and insulting George until finally it stopped. George thought to himself, Oh no! I froze my aunt's bird to death. He opened the door and saw the bird alive. The bird said, I'm sorry for my behavior and will never act up again. George said, Why the change? The bird answered, Because I saw what you did to the other bird. <laughs> A girl walks up to her mother and asks, Mommy, why am I named Clover? Your grandma believes that it brings luck to our family. Then, her other daughter walks up. Mommy, why am I named Nirvana? Because your aunt believes that is the place you go when you are enlightened. Finally, her son walks up to her. Those names make sense, but why am I named Kate Day? His mother sighs. Your father believes it is the best way to earn karma. <laughs> Little Johnny sees his daddy's car passing the playground and going into the woods. Curious, he follows the car and sees daddy and Aunt Jane kissing. Johnny finds this so exciting and can barely contain himself as he runs home and starts to tell his mother excitedly. Mommy, mommy, I was at the playground and daddy and... Mommy tells him to slow down, but that she wants to hear the story. So Johnny tells her. I was at the playground and I saw daddy's car go into the woods with Aunt Jane. I went to look and daddy was giving Aunt Jane a big kiss. Then he helped her take off her shirt. Then Aunt Jane helped daddy take his pants off. Then Aunt Jane laid down on the seat, then Daddy. At this point, Mommy cut him off and said, Johnny, this is such an interesting story, suppose you save the rest of it for supper time. I want to see the look on Daddy's face when you tell it tonight. At the dinner table, Mommy asks Johnny to tell his story. He describes the car into the woods, the undressing, laying down on the seat, and... Then Daddy and Aunt Jane did that same thing Mommy and Uncle Jeff used to do when Daddy was in the army. <laughs> Last night my wife and I were having Christmas dinner with her parents, grandparents, aunts slash uncles, and a German neighbor who is a widow. We were talking about messing up while cooking meals and I mentioned the first time I cooked a turkey I cooked it upside down. The neighbor was incredulous that I could make such a mistake and asked how I could possibly do this when the breast would be round and make it difficult to get the turkey to not roll. Maybe I just like flat-breasted turkeys. The wife looks down at her chest. Well, now I feel self-conscious. Wait, is that why you always turn me face down? Everybody starts roaring with laughter and her dad turns bright red. <laughs>